Audition lets you edit together clips using multi-track sessions, where you can cut, trim, and combine different clips together. So to demonstrate, I'm going to make a short um, mini podcast, if you will. And you can see on the screen here, I already have a multi-track session open, and I've imported my media that I want to use in this project. You can see them listed here. Now to start, I'm going to click on this audio file, my interview, and drag it over onto track one. And you can see it's about four and a half minutes long. Now for this example, I just want to grab one sound bite from this interview. And so to help me do that, I'm going to zoom into the timeline by selecting the plus sign. So you can see it's a lot easier to find differences in audio and you can see you know, where there's a pause, uh, where there's maybe a different voice coming in. And as you heard, as I'm scrubbing back and forth, I can sort of hear what's happening. So I can hear my voice, a female voice, versus where the male voice starts. So you can hear where his answer starts after my very long question, um, which is helpful because now I'm going to trim out just this section. So I want to segregate pretty much uh, 10 seconds between, you know, where I have my scrubber now and right about here. An easy way to do this in Audition and any uh, multi-track editor is to use a blade tool or what's called a razor, uh, razor selected clips tool in Audition. They usually look the same. If, if you see it as blade tool or razor tool, it usually does the same thing. What this tool does is anywhere I click on my timeline, it's going to just chop that clip into two. So it doesn't remove anything. It just creates two clips where there were one. And so I'll click on my timeline right where I had my cursor. And you can see now there's two separate clips. And just to be safe, I'll, I'll also select right here. Now, with your blade tool, be careful that you're not uh, selecting or clicking other places because it's going to keep cutting. So anywhere I click, it's cutting. What I always do is when I'm done with my first cut, I come back and select the Move tool so that I'm not uh, creating a problem here. And now when I'm editing, I'll normally move my selected file onto a new track, and then I'll mute the track with the full uh, interview. That way I'm not uh, accidentally cutting or touching the wrong portion of the clip. I know I'm working with the portion that I want to work with. Now what's neat about non-destructive editing software is that when you have your clip here, you can still add or subtract um, portions of that clip. It's non-destructive in the sense that even though I've chopped it at that spot, I can sort of unchop it by moving this clip um, with the trim tool. So this is the second tool we'll go over. When you hover over either the left or the right side, you see this different cursor. And when you use that cursor, when you click and drag, you can trim or expand your clip um, to segregate different portions of it. And you can play by selecting the space bar. So we've cut off part of, part of his sentence. We want to expand that. Alright, so we'll end it right there. The neat thing is, because you're using the space bar, it immediately stops your cursor from moving at that moment. And as you saw when I trim this, it, it will uh, cling to that spot on the, on the timeline. So I don't have to worry about retiming it. I know that's exactly the spot I want to stop. And then if I leave my cursor there, the computer will sense where it is and it will snap right to that cursor. So you might also have noticed this is a loud clip and this yellow bar here can turn on the volume on that clip. I can also use the volume setting on the track to turn on the volume on the whole track, but that doesn't help if you've got two different uh, volumed clips on one track. So there's two different ways you would do it and there's different reasons why you'd use each one. So now I want to put some music at the beginning of this clip. So I've dragged on this short piece of music that I have. 
And if you're doing something like a podcast, you may want to fade in your music um, at the beginning. Audition makes that very simple. If you hover over the square, either on the beginning or the end of a clip, you can see it pops up and says fade in. If I click and drag, it creates a fade for the beginning of that uh, clip. And I could do the same at the end. I can also crossfade, which means the music will fade down as the next clip fades up and it happens simultaneously. And Audition again makes this very easy. All you have to do is select and move your clip over the other clip. So I click and drag and you can see the length of the fade is represented by a span of these yellow lines. So to sum up, there's lots of tools you can use to create edits in a multi-track session. Um, and some of the most useful ones are the blade tool or the razor tool, the trim tool, and then the fade tool, fade in and fade out tool.